So today's video is something that I was really looking forward to make ever since I thought about it. Naisip ko to ng mga panahon, I was outside of YouTube and I told to myself, I am definitely going to film this one one day and apparently today is that day. As we all know, or if you don't know yet, our perspective varies depending on the or depending on the kind of culture na kasanayan natin. Like for example, a certain thing may be completely normal in a certain place but may be prohibited in another. So what I'm going to do today is entirely based on my perspective and just the way I see culture. So it's a bagay na I perceive na maganda, maybe something na hindi pa pasas definition mo na maganda. And I also know that appearance is one of the most superficial things here in the world and the least like a way to judge a person. So what I'm going to do today is just for the sake of entertainment and for the nearing going basis if you want to classify a guapo. But I definitely advise you don't judge a person by his looks, which I will ironically do next. Okay, so the term guap is very broad for me. But the mga sabi na, oh, he's so guap when you actually mean that he's just cute. Tapos mayro sabi na, oh, guap niya when you mean that he's actually hot. So I created a classification that will determine the level of attractiveness of a guy. He can be my ichura, cute, guap, hot, or adonis. So guys in my ichura are the kind of guys who you don't consider good looking when you first saw him but eventually you found him slightly good looking or kind of good looking when you have spent a lot of time with him personally a very good example of this is Ansel Elgert when I first saw and knew that Ansel was going to play as Augustus Waters in the fall in our stars I was kind of disappointed because I perceived Gus as someone who is really good looking like so damn attractive because that's how John Green described him but eventually as time passes by and he keeps on appearing on movies and magazines. I then eventually found out that oh, okay, I guess we're not going back it. Most of the time, I find someone cute, but my pocket you need to sell that. But at the same time, I also find someone cute when he's attractive, but not that attractive if you know what I mean. I mean, um, it's like. Is attractive to some or to few people, but not to all people. A very good example of someone who is really cute for me, celebrity to be specific, is Thomas Brody Sangster. I mean, he's just really cute every time he smiles. I mean, his eyes just, because his eyes were in his eyes, just suddenly disappears and his smile. It's something that really cute. Plus his accent. Okay, we have finally reached the stage of defining a guapo. A guy is guapo when he's attractive to most people and not to few or to some people. I can actually list tons of Hollywood celebrities which I find guapo, but here are some of them to let you have an idea by what I mean by guapo. Chris Evans. Well, I'm not going to say guapo, but like it's a Captain America. Some Claflin. Oh my god, you in deep deep post up on the gaze and how bless your accent? Uh, are all swords worthy. It's one worthy. Army Hammer. Army actually looks like a real life Disney prince to me, and I'm kind of confused why he wasn't cast as this one. And lastly, young Aaron Johnson. What is the difference between a guapo and a hot guy? A guy is hot when he looks more attractive. With when he has a beard on his face. I mean, there are guys who don't look good with a beard and there are just some just, uh, oh my god. I mean, I have read a study before which says that most females perceive a guy to be hot when he has a beard on his face, which I am definitely not denying that I am one of them. The epitomes of hot guys for me are Theo James. I mean, Theo is basically a symbol for me when someone says hot. I mean, that face and that accent are just so sexy and hot. Adam Levine. Adam Levine is a kind of guy who is definitely another definition of hot. I mean, who doesn't find Adam hot when he sings those high notes? And lastly, Bradley Cooper. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a fan. I definitely have to say this one and um, his beard just makes him 100% hotter and makes him want to touch it. <laughs> Adonis. Adonis is a superior type among the rest. As you can imply, um, I named this one after one of the Greek mythology characters who is typically linked to the idea of being handsome. I mean, 
in terms of appearance, and the guy is perfect. Like, the word perfect is already enough to describe me as someone as godly as for me. So far, there is only one guy who was able to reach this level according to my qualification and to my standards, and that is Brandon Ruth. In case you don't know, Brandon is an American actor who was known for his betrayal as Clark Kent in the 2006 Superman Return, and I've never seen a guy so attractive like him before. Like, his face is a work of art, and I can actually stare at it for a very long time. I mean, his face is actually perfect for the role of Prince Eric. I mean, come on. So those are the five types of guapo guys, and if you're going to sign me, please don't forget to use the APA format and write a um, Viado 2016. And um, if you like this one, and if you want me to do a local version, a local version of this video, make sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe if you want to get more videos similar to this one in the future. You can also follow me here on the internet by following me in my social media accounts, which you will see in the description box below. So I think that is all for this week's video guys. Thank you for watching and um, I'll see you next week. Until then, bye guys!